Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. In 1620, a ship called the Mayflower embarked on a long and perilous journey from Plymouth, England to the New World. Many of the people aboard the Mayflower were the Puritans, a Protestant group who dissented from the established Church of England. They were called Puritans because they wanted to purify the church. We now call this specific group of Puritans the Pilgrims. Unlike the settlers who came to Jamestown, the passengers aboard the Mayflower were fleeing persecution in their native England and sought to establish a colony where they could practice their religious beliefs in peace. Some of the passengers, such as Miles Standish, were not Puritans but were hired to perform specific jobs. Standish, for example, was to be the military commander of the colony. The Mayflower had a rough two-month passage to America. The Pilgrims abandoned their initial plans to land near the mouth of the Hudson River, but instead dropped anchor at Provincetown Harbor in what is now Massachusetts. The Virginia Company's charter did not authorize the colonists to establish a colony in Massachusetts, but dwindling provisions and the onset of winter forced the colonists to land at Provincetown. They later relocated to Plymouth. While still anchored in Provincetown Harbor, the Pilgrims drafted what came to be known as the Mayflower Compact, a document that came to be considered an early example of social contract theory put to action in America. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.